Welcome to this week's episode of Dig In. It's late summer and vegetables are putting on a great show for us. I'm walking through this beautiful patch of cherry tomatoes at the Chatfield CSA. And today we're going to be talking to Josie, the community coordinator, uh, who's in charge of this CSA. Thanks for having us. Thank you. It's great to bring people out to have a look at what we're doing. It's nice to walk through and get some of this wonderful candy that you've got growing all over the place. This is yes. one, these are wonderful. Can you tell our viewers just to, what the heck is a CSA? A CSA is basically Community Supporting Agriculture. And we actually have changed the title. Most CSAs are called Community Supported Agriculture, but we uh, changed the ending of Supporting agriculture because we want it to be a two-way street between community uh -huh. and the actual agriculture. So shareholders pay in the beginning of the year uh, different amounts depending on how much their share is going to be and then each week they come and pick up fresh organic vegetables from our location here or from our downtown location. Now when did this get started? This is basically in its second year. It's a three-year grant from Kaiser Permanente with partners of Denver Botanic Gardens and we're just growing vegetables for the shareholders of Kaiser and for the Denver Botanic Gardens. So we're standing in one large garden here but you've got more than that. How many acres are you cultivating right now? So the plot that we're standing in is one acre and that was the original plot that we started with. Okay. The start of this season we actually switched to three acres so that's quite a lot of acreage for us. There's two acres on the other side of the farm. So and that's all supported by the shareholders. That's right. We um, decided that, many. that we had such a successful first year um, that we could double what we were going to grow. So we started out with around 30 crops in our initial year. And everything is grown um, organically, sustainable practices. What, what do you That's do? Right. I mean, you irrigate, you fertilize and that sort of thing. How yep. do you control bugs and what have you? So we use all natural practices, sustainable practices for anything that we do. Bugs, a lot of times we use beneficial insects. We have a large, large herd of ladybugs that move around <laughs> from plant to plant okay. eating aphids. We will use all natural and organic insecticides if it comes to that. But we've had pretty good luck with bugs so far. This all gets tended on a probably a daily basis, That's correct? Right. And mm -hmm. then you harvest twice a week? We harvest twice a week and we also hand all of the fresh vegetables out twice a week. We've got a team of growers, we've also got interns, and we've got a team of volunteers that come in every day to help us make this happen. Well, you know what I'd really like to see next? is where all of this gets consolidated, the logistics, the washing, the weighing, sure. the breaking down of all this stuff and, and for your shareholders. Can we go look at that? Here we are at the wash stand where all the stuff has been brought after it got harvested. Tell me a little bit about what's going on right here. So basically what we're doing now, we've been out in either field since about 5.30 this morning. Everything is being brought in, separated, and counting. So each variety is being put into um, a bucket then we're counting the exact number that we have of each variety. And um, some of it needs to be put into these very, very cold water tubs where it's sorted, weeds and dirt and bugs and things are taken out by yeah, our Yeah, they're volunteers. washing spinach and radishes down on this side. Yeah, so right now Liz is doing some Easter egg radishes. She's just washing off the mud, getting them cleaned up, taking the long roots mm -hmm. off. How many families are involved in this whole so, operation So um, we have 150 shares this year. Um, that means that there's a little bit more than 150 families that actually are fed through these shares because some okay. families team up and buy one share together. Each crop is laid out so families get to pick and choose what they want. They weigh everything, they put it mm -hmm. into their bags or their boxes and they bring it home. So we they get also, to customize it to what they like and don't like or maybe have right. too much of from the previous time. You start distributing about the first part of June? So our first distribution this year was June 16th. We did have an early crop of lettuce that was ready the week before. So it was really about June 10th is when everything got going this year. And you'll go clear into October? Yes. Depending on the weather, you know, you can't Hopefully, predict the frost. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we want to go through most part of October. Yeah. In the next room over here, there's some beautiful tomatoes. I mean, some of those tomatoes were the size of a small child's head. It really you is everybody's favorite. You can grow big favorite. tomatoes in Colorado. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. <laughs> so uh, how about if we go check that out? 
So Josie, here we are in what I consider to be my favorite vegetable that comes out of the, well, it's, it's a berry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your favorite berry of yes, the Yes, for the taxonomic nerds out there. <laughs> but uh, there's all kinds, you guys grow a lot of um, heirloom varieties. That's right, we and do. I want to show you this tomato. You're not going to believe this. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. <laughs> Yeah, what was variety was this one? This is the striped German, a beautiful gold, lush, and sweet tomato. One of our favorites this year. And it's just got all these ridges and shoulders and crevices. I mean, they're just beautiful to look at. I mean, they're works of art just in the form of them, but I bet they taste delicious. They're delicious, really, really sweet. And I promise not you, I'm being acidic. very careful with that. I want yes, to bruise they're them very for delicate. People. They're they're the prized possession of people that are coming today. No so. doubt. So Josie, if somebody wants to become a shareholder and get some of this wonderful fruit and produce, how do they go about doing that? They can go ahead and visit our website. All the information is there at the chatfieldcsa.org. Excellent. Coming up next, MJ is going to show you around the farm and give you a better idea of what all is here at the Chatfield Arboretum. Hi, this is Chef Mick from Tony's Markets. We've got local produce coming in like crazy right now. Today we're going to take some eggplant and chicken and make a variation on eggplant parmesan out on the grill.